Now, I love that with the skids this season, uh, we get to see them interact a little more with uh, certain members of the group that we don't normally see them interact with, like Squirrely Dan uh, mm-hmm. for a trip to the the psychic and then the murder mystery. I mean, what was it like? Or well, not murder mystery, but the, the bake sale mystery. Oh, no, it's a murder mystery. <laughs> it's a murder <laughs> it plays out very much like one. <laughs> you murdered Glenn's heart. That's what exactly you good. Um, so what was it like getting to see the, the scripts for this season, especially because I know this one was combined mm-hmm. with uh, season 10 as far as production goes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it was I, I, I thought getting to hang out with all those people in different contexts was really fun. I really enjoyed my time with uh, Kate Rev. We don't get a, we don't get to spend a lot of time with him, especially alone. He's a delight. He's a nice man. He really is. And also we got to work with coach for the first time. I think it was like the, maybe the first scene we were ever in with coach um, in, in, while we were in the um, church. And I remember watching him just like breaking Lisa and stuff like that and being like, oh, this is why people don't like working with him. No, <laughs> 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 he's, he's, a, he's very good at what he does. He's yeah. so freaking funny. Yeah. And Tyler, how about yourself? What, what what was it like for you, you know, seeing what was going to come for, for you guys uh, going into this season? Always get so excited to read the the scripts, Grant. Um, the skids could be doing just anything. Mm-hmm. We get new six episodes. They could be doing anything at all. So seeing the murder mystery stuff, the fun stuff with the chips, um, and getting to, to be in scenes with characters we're not always in is always a freaking treat. I mean, uh, Squirrely Dan is is a high-energy, sweet-hearted character. Uh, he can get a little volatile, and we kind of stay volatile. So it was an interesting <laughs> dynamic. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm always excited to come back. Uh, <laughs> We never know what we're going to get into, but mm-hmm. we can pretty much guarantee it's going to be something embarrassing. That scene where we sat down with Dan to, and went, oh, there's beers, free beers. Oh. I, I, I rewatched that a couple of times. It was pretty, <laughs> none of that was planned. It was very good. He's very funny. He's yes, funny. he's very, very funny. He should do stand up. He should do stand up. <laughs> um. Well, and with that said, then, I mean, you mentioned Coach uh, breaking Lisa a few times and, mm-hmm. and K-Trev, uh, you know, a lot of fun to work with. Is there any one person, though, in this cast, whether it be one of, you know, each other or someone else who you always have the hardest time doing a scene with without breaking? Tyler and I are professionals. We never <laughs> we, break. We haven't laughed in years, Greg. We haven't laughed in laughed years. In Unbreakable, <laughs> the two of might, us. Might have to rewind the footage 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> the laughter has stopped. I hate laughing. I, I um I always love doing scenes, but have difficulty not laughing with Lisa, who plays Gail. The yeah, those hips. And her movements have, have just evolved throughout time. And uh, she she cracks me up. Uh, yeah. Lot. for me it's dickens jim dimmy dickskin oh, is so I, there's something funny. about his delivery is cr- it's off the rails and he'll always throw a little something on like a little pepper here and there it gets me he's so tall I, he uses his height to his advantage like he'll do these things where he like it's really really low in a squat and you're like i didn't know your body could do that it's he'll incredible put his head into a lampshade that's uh, <laughs> just hanging off the ceiling he's so tall they just put his head into a lampshade He's one of the guys, Grant, that actually uh, gets away with um, improvising some stuff, either the beginning of his scene or end of his scene. He yeah. usually comes with some really, really funny stuff. And we all get to play around a little bit, but he he manages. To have he really stuff. takes liberties. He yeah. does. He does. <laughs> you go, girls. He's so funny. He's so funny. <laughs> He always finds a way to, to add a little something, mm-hmm. uh, whether it's written or, or himself. I love it. And so uh, mentioning improv then, was there any one scene in this season that uh, you both loved to throw a little improv in uh, for, for Stuart and Rold? Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you yeah. thinking of? What, do you, what, do you, what scene are you I just, well, we, I just watched it the last few days ago, and there's one scene where we improvised the whole – opening and end frick I, honestly grant i can't remember right now well there's but... the one where we come in where i'm you're i'm you're on my back in a starfish and yeah. it's certainly not written in the script it's like, does it, how would you even describe that action um oh I yeah i don't know what there's scene we're even moment. entering into yeah. but I remember. yeah yeah that was a good one uh we usually improvise our entrance and our exits into the scenes because that's just one way of us being able to control the ridiculousness of our uh just account. looking for control anywhere we can <laughs> there was one <laughs> moment where i improvised this season where katie with that same scene i hop off evan's back 
And then and I say something to Katie, oh, snitches get stitches. And then she puts her hand around my throat. And then I tell her to grab tighter. <laughs> and I improvise the tighter line. And uh, I just remember just perfectly yeah. getting away with the yeah. little, you know, a little <laughs> yeah. jab out of there. So, yeah. That was a good that, scene. That sounds like a perfect Stuart line right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. When yeah, you inhabit never, the body of Stuart long enough. have his body is choking tighter. Yeah, I would never joke you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it like then after all, all this time? I mean, since we talk about inhabiting these characters, Stuart and Roll are really – they're not bad guys, but they are very like bizarre. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, explain what do you mean by bizarre? Again, what are you friends? saying? What do you mean by bizarre? Well, they, they first of all, they, they ingest in some um, not so savory uh, drugs. Let, you can let's say it. They're gremlins. You um, can say it. They're monsters. They, they're, they're not monsters. They have good hearts somewhere beneath all the like Whatever. monsters ink monsters they're not like villain monsters but they are <laughs> sticky and pointy and you don't want to spend too much time around them um <laughs> I, what, I what is it like you know in inhabiting them and and finding a way to you know early on they were antagonists and now they are mm. very much you know part of the the main core of, of people that we love so what is it like you know finding that balance still to this day mm. I think no matter what happens with the skids, they will always remain the underdog. Uh, whether or not they are the freaking president of the United States of America, I still think the skids will be playing the under the underdog. Part. The two Canadian <laughs> <laughs> dancing yeah. bridge rolls. <laughs> the the president of the United States. The United States. They will still be the underdogs. Yeah. Which I think is a really fun thing to root for, as well as embody, because yeah. there's always something that you're chasing, whether that's validation or you know in, in Stewart's case maybe Katie's love in Rold's case maybe Stewart's love there's always something that we're chasing it's true the motivation's yeah. always there we always have a purpose yeah we're not just talking we're doing okay we're, doing. we're hunting we're looking for something and it's it is love at the end of the we day we are trying to better ourselves no matter how bad we uh, <laughs> how bad we are <laughs> No matter how many bad paths you take to get there. Oh, so many bad <laughs> paths. Just gnarly, gnarly trails. Oh. Well, and, and speaking of, of that, I, or going off of that, uh, with the mystery that we were discussing earlier, I love how just over the top Stuart gets throughout that whole thing, going down just <laughs> potentially wrong paths uh, with his deductions. And so, Tyler, I mean, you know, did you look to any uh, certain, you know, iconic murder mystery who done it things for inspiration for your performances or was it really just all kind of there in the writing and direction Jake, jacob and i talked about it a little bit you know i, I watched a couple of agatha christie movies and but really we were just having fun that day we just show up and have some fun i know the uh the cane was a fun element at the end there the black you know the surprise that maybe he wasn't injured the whole time um yeah, it's, yeah his, his Kaiser Soze moment. It's really... Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we didn't really uh, look too deep into uh, which uh, murder mystery uh, detective might be the uh, the one to emulate, but uh, yeah, we just had kind of had some fun with that episode. Hmm. That was that was really really fun. I I I look fondly on that episode for sure. I, I certainly love uh, that one. And, and um, you know, I know that it's already streaming, but for those who haven't seen it yet, I'm really looking forward to when they get to see it, uh, when they finally take the time to watch it, because this whole season's great, but that episode uh, might be my favorite. So I am getting the rap signal, guys. So thank you so much for, for taking the time to chat thank with me. Right. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, I know I have to leave you. I'm sorry, Evan. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that, <laughs> that puppet's behind you. Is it empty or full? It is empty. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not right. going to say I emptied it before this interview. <laughs> A little breakfast beer? But I'm yeah, not going to deny it either. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs>